So recently the developers over at Appeal Studios and THQ Nordic gave me their brand new game, Outcast: A New Beginning. And I decided to just sit down and play it for hours on end trying to get every single trophy I possibly could because platinums are love and life. The game just released on March 15 by the way, so I had to go in raw with no direction and guides available to help this process. You can also play it on both PC and console, and the demo is even still available if you still want to try out the game first. Also, in this video there will be lots of spoilers for the story, so if you want to avoid that then um yeah there's that Bruh. so anyways outcast trophy list has 52 trophies available including the platinum many are gone from the story but also just from completing 100 percent of the game in general it is also a open world sci-fi adventure single player game by the way if you were wondering it first opens up with a cutscene and the main character whose name is Cutter Slade. Side note, that name is insanely cool and I now feel like less of a man for not having that name. But anyways, you are in some sort of trance dream type thing and then all of a sudden you get sucked into the light. Now that's never good as we all know, but this time instead of dying, we just ended up on an alien planet. So it could always be worse. And immediately after walking outside, you spot a ship just unloading into the locals. Now using brain power, we can assume that the humans are probably doing this because it would be the most expected outcome. We then ran around this new area for a minute or two before getting confronted by Lee Haz, who is this alien woman right here. She then proceeded to interrogate us for a little bit because we of course don't look like an alien, and ultimately she comes upon the solution that we are the chosen one basically. So uh, yeah, she's really smart. We then had to follow her to an enemy outpost and as a training ritual or test to see if we were indeed the chosen one. We now have to take out this entire outpost with nothing but our willpower. Thankfully while here we did find a few items to help the suffering, so taking out these first few robots wasn't too bad at all. And in fact, it was pretty fun. The combat in this game goes insanely hard on God. Anyways, a while later, a cussing happened and it shows our poor main character getting completely decimated by unexpected explosions. This then sends us into another trance thing and we watch as the general for the humans is pretty much torturing the alien folk in his ship. Now that's just not fair. But then we ended up in this light room from the intro of the game. Except this time we see a memory of our daughter who was a mystery, most likely because I was an absent father figure. Nice. But then we end up respawning back into the world since death can't hold down this main character plot armor. Also, that girl from the beginning watched all this happen and was absolutely mind blown by us just respawning like it's a video game. So she is now going to help us get to the leaders of the alien people pretty much. And that is the intro of the game. I then went to the first village of the game and conversed with the locals just trying to figure out what's happening and also getting missions obviously. On my first real mission though, I had to go to another outpost and while here I equipped a weapon module for the first time and got my first trophy. And I kid you not, a minute later I finished this outpost and got another trophy for finishing my first outpost in the game. There was then another cutscene vision giving us some lore on the enemies we are against, that being the mean humans right here. And the general was basically just tripping balls as to how they lost an outpost and the leading theory was shapeshifters. So I, I think we're gonna win this war. After that, when we returned to play as Cutter Slate again, I made my way to the local village's portal and activated it giving me both a trophy and also that glorious, oh that glorious open world fast travel. Gotta love it, I swear, games that have open world and fast travel are immediately the best of all time. Anyways, we then got let into the main alien city to talk to the leaders and tell them who we are and also ask what the hell is going on because obviously it's a little weird from Cutter Slade's point of view here. But after talking to them for a while and filling their minds with human thoughts, which are dangerous if you don't know, they ended up breaking their like sacred link they had. So we've officially been here less than a day and already ruined some like major religious connections. Hashtag pioneer. And after that meeting we got sent away pretty much, but we also got a trophy because that was the end of the tutorial missions. So now it's time to play the real game and Outcast sort of works as a non-linear open world storyline where there is a main objective and goal, but you can pretty much get to it doing any order you want going to any village from the start essentially. And the first two main goals are to get the Darumadan or something. I don't know how to say it, but it's like this token you receive from finishing the entire quest line for a village and restoring it to full power. And the other objective is to take down 10 major enemy bases and collect this special resource from them that we need. So anyways, the next trophy I got was from taking down my first of these rock eruption challenges that are in the game. There is actually a load of these that are needed for the completionist trophy at the end of the game also, but basically they just have you fight an assortment of enemies, usually being spiders, which is great since I have a crippling fear of spiders. It's normal, okay? I'm not a pussy. I then got this objective from the mystery man, or so they call him and he sent me to an outpost that was on a beach however it was not a fun time at the beach at all because we had to fight through a ton of enemies to gather our new gear but once we reached
reach the ending of the whole shabam, the general himself shows up. And then he, uh, he shot us in the chest and we died. So that's great. But after respawning in because we have insane plot armor, we got our new gear and it was an assault rifle, which gave us a trophy. I then decided to do various other side activities because I wanted to, you know, expand my mind as they say. First, I did a parkour challenge called an orm trial, which just has a few little jumps inside. And you had to grab these green orbs as well to progress it. But once you get them all, the little chest will open and a trophy also for completing the first one. I then found and did the first essence shrine also, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too sure as to what these are. But you have to chase around this red orb for a few moments until it dives into the shrine and opens it to let you in. And after making it inside and grabbing the item, I got the trophy for completing the first one also. I then took a break from all these side activities and went after a base base for the first time. These are like the outpost, except they are just way bigger, so yeah. And once I completed one, I got a trophy for finishing it. Right near the base, there was also another Grok eruption, and when I was doing it, I ended up killing 300 animals total in the game, which makes me kind of feel bad for doing that. I then did a drill base next, which is like a base from earlier, except it has a drill on the bottom of it. And fun fact, you actually get to battle the drills in this game, which goes unironically hard. Would do again. While fighting the drill, I also overheated both of my guns within like a few seconds or something, and that was a trophy. And after completing the first one, you get a trophy for eliminating the drill. And I then reached the final mission for the first village, and I got to ride this giant slimy animal, which was fire. And the thing brought me right on up to the flying enemy convoy, which I then proceeded to just completely blow them all up. And after that, back at the village, the leader then gave me that token thing I was talking about, and that was all the missions for the first village done, which gave me a trophy. I then continued on as you do, and I ended up killing 300 robots finally for a trophy. I then decided to go take a break from the main story and just go try to do some of these side activities because there's loads of them and they're all super fun to do. But I did get multiple trophies for doing them all. And by the end of it, I had zero side things left and just had the main story to focus on. Speaking of the main story, I had a mission where I was escorting some animal back to his owner for a village. And on the way back, a giant ass worm came out of the ground looking like it was straight out of Dune. But once I defeated it, I got a trophy for killing a worm in the game. I also then got given this slingshot contraption from one of the village locals, which was a trophy. I then completed two more village quest lines for two more of those token things needed for the main story, which was also two more trophies. And then we finally got to confront the general again, whose name is Jack, by the way. Honestly, I would have expected a more evil name, so like something like German, but who cares? This fight was sick. And even after we both exchanged bullets at each other for minutes on end, it finishes off with another cutscene, and we watch as the two men just stared longingly into each other's eyes before a woman showed up in the voice comms and distracted them both, which then allowed for Jack to get away. This isn't over. Oh, and yeah, we got a trophy in the middle of that fight, I never said. Anyways, I then completed another village and got the token for it. But this time, two trophies popped because why not? And another two trophies then popped from two more villages, giving me their special tokens from all the quests. I then took down another major base, and while here, I decided to go for a special trophy got for meleeing a drone enemy. Honestly, this is kind of hard to do because you can't really melee midair as far as I know, but I did manage to do it. I also did a random trophy having me collect a plant midair because why not? And it was finally time to collect the final token for the final village, which is of course the main one with all the leaders and mystical stuff everywhere. This lady also made it super personal when giving me the token, and I feel a little bit special right now, I'm not gonna lie. She even gave me two trophies for doing that, so that's awesome. I was then a little bit afraid of missing trophies when nearing the end of the story, so I did a random one real fast of having me get to almost zero health, and then being healed to full by the village Shamaz. I also then went back to the worm again, and let it kill me for real this time, because I have a special power-up that brings you back once. And that was also the last special power I had yet to use, which then gave me a trophy in addition. I also managed to destroy the final base in the game and finish that main story objective, which gave me a trophy. Right after that, I also unlocked all of the weapon module slots in the game, which are pretty much just attachments you can add onto your guns to make them ever so much better. And I then upgraded a few of those attachments as a matter of fact, which also gave me a trophy for spending a certain amount of nano cells on such upgrades. I then ended up having to fight the final drill in the game to finish up the enemy's remaining forces. And this was the last drill, which gave me a trophy after I destroyed it. So yeah, we reached the ending of the game basically and everything sort of went to hell as you would probably expect an alien game to go but i ended up having to battle my first officer which is the hardest enemy in the game i'm pretty sure and i got a trophy for beating him as a matter of fact oh but poor cutter slade did indeed end up getting captured by jackie boy finally so we then got to sit in prison by ourselves thank god we don't have any inmates you don't want to know what goes down in space prison thankfully we had a man on the inside and we asked him to kill us because cutter slade has 
the respawn perk selected on his life, and he would probably come back. Also, that gave us the trophy. Anyways, we did come back as you would expect, but it would have been kind of funny if we didn't. That's what I'm saying. So the next objective was to now save all the village leaders since they have all been rounded up by the enemy humans. And getting to these damn leaders was like low-key crazy because the amount of sheer enemy force that was put into these bases is insane. So lots of fun for sure. I honestly forgot what my life feels like without bullets flying everywhere. But once we saved them, I got a trophy as you would expect. Anyways, I then made it to the final section of the game and you actually can't go back after so you have to make a save so you can then like, clean up stuff, you know? But it first began with us having an intimate moment with this alien baddie. And uh, yeah, this was, <laughs> was kind of tragic. I have no words. Regardless, we ended up having a whole ass like hearing inside of the human spaceship with everyone there. And obviously it went to hell like everything else has been going. So we just ended up fighting a ton before going back down to the alien planet once more. And the Yods, which are like the gods or something in this game, ended up supercharging Cutter Slade with this white light power, which gave me a trophy. We then had to go fight through tons of enemies with this overpowered laser beam pretty much. So yeah, we just couldn't die unless many mistakes were made over and over. But there was a massive boss fight against Jack and his ship that went hard. Like this is probably one of the coolest boss fights I've ever done and you should buy the game right now so you can do it also. Anyways, after beating him we got a trophy and then he tried to send his ship into us all and get one last multi-kill for his combat report. But we pulled him out and then his ship just ran into this little flying thing so that's chill. And yeah, that was pretty much it for the story. I didn't go super in depth with any of it because the game has so much lore it's crazy and you honestly just gotta play for yourself. But the remaining trophies I had left were all collectibles essentially. These are by the way extremely hard to find on your own and you probably won't be able to get them all without dying a little bit inside. Thankfully the legend sent me a whole ass map for them so W developers, for real. Anyways, the first collectibles I went after were called diaries because they were diaries of people that left them there. And I actually ended up doing the AFK flying trophy while I was doing this because I was up super high and gliding for three minutes straight seemed easy enough. And it was. Alrighty, so anyways, back to the diaries. Once you find them all, you of course get the diary trophy. And then there is also another trophy for collectibles, but it's with weapon modules this time. These are scattered around the open world map with various parts for each. And then you have to take them to this dude right here who is a hermit, as the game says. Basically, he just gives you weapon modules in exchange for parts. And once you do it all, you will get the trophy. There is then three more trophies that are all very closely tied. First being gathering 3,000 Zorkins, which is the currency in game that you can then go use to buy all the recipes for another trophy. And then all 21 inventory upgrades for another. And then the final trophy before the Platinum is called I Feel Like It's 1999 Again, which is in reference to the original Outcast game that came out forever ago. But after you get that, you will get the Platinum and end the journey for this amazing game. Once more, I want to say a huge thank you to the developers for giving me a copy of this game, and I would highly recommend you guys go check it out for yourself. But anyways, thanks for watching.